Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sneak Peek. My name is David. I'm Brian. And I am Brad. <laughs> Today is actually a very special episode mm. on the show. Because we actually have a very big announcement to make. Uh, we're actually closing. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate it. We've been here mm. since 2019 May. So it's been how long? Over one, almost coming to coming to two years. years uh. Uh, our lease ended and we are actually closing shop. La. The, the, the industry is just so competitive. You know, we have very strong competitors. So as such, we are going to make our exit from this industry because they are just too strong. We cannot compete with the heat, man. Yeah, we cannot compete with the heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, in all seriousness, yeah, we are closing. Um, our last day of operation is actually going to be on Chinese New Year Eve. 11. So, till then, please come down, show us some love, and let us see you for the last time. Okay, so we'll proceed on to the second segment of the day, which is the sneaker review. Yep. So, today, since we have such a special episode, we want to review the first pair of shoes ever sold at Confident. What do we have here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the first pair of shoes actually sold at Conformity was actually in 2019. Mm. We have we even have the boomerang of the palette about it. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. This was the first pair of shoes that we actually sold here. So these are the Yeezy Boost 350 Frozen Yellow. Yeah. A lot mm. of other nicknames mm. as well. Some of the nicknames are Machacants. Yes. And uh, other people call it Yebras lah. Yellow Yebras. Yellow Zebra. <laughs> Why are they called Machacants? Uh, I think we all eat Mexican, you know the rapper is yes you can see uh, the color is damn freaking similar. Yeah. Some people Treat it as mac chickens. Yes. Wait, wait, but why not double cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> double cheeseburger oh, wrapper, butter, white lah. Oh, right, right, white butter, butter. Eh, yellow ah? No, no, no. no, no double white, cheeseburger wrapper is white lah. Yo, don't really? act lah. You, yeah. ma- you eat McDonald's every day, bro. <laughs> 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 I mean, these when they, I think they, this was a re-release. So they re-released this colorway before. So the first iteration when it first came out, the prices was like super, super high. Even though it was very loud lah. The first release lah was 2017, and I think it was the first of many neon sneakers to come. It's probably the one that brought on the neon sneaker movement. Yeah. One of the few first few lah. So I, uh, yesterday when I was telling Natalie that we can review this shoe, she mentioned that you know this is just a clean zebra easies. What you take a highlight, yellow highlighter and then it you is, highlight it. it is true. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's why the one of the names. It's called uh, Yibra. Yibra. Yellow yes. Zebra. Yes. So you put it in Yibra. So this shoe features a very... I mean the whole, everything is vault, but it, it features a, a, like a gum sole. So it's, it's a good contrast. La. So the the gum leads to the back as well. The heel tab. There's a little uh, colour blocking there, which is actually quite unique. Lace one is also neon. I, I don't think anyone changed the lace, right? i never seen I don't think so. I don't think any lace can, can be changed. Yeah, yeah. The colour will look off. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and the red SP. LY 350, I mean the standard one. Mm. But I feel like it doesn't pop as much on this color because it's just too bright. Yeah. It pops more on the zebra color. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much that's about it. La. I mean it's a, it's a good shoe. <coughs> if you're wearing this shoe and walking down walking down Otter Road, right? Definitely you will people actually notice that you're wearing easy. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall a, a very interesting shoe. Mm. Also the first pair we sold here, so wow. Mm. It's been it's been more, more than one and a half years. Yes. Memories. It's currently Do you remember what price was it sold? I don't remember, but it's probably a steal lah. Because when we opened, we were just like throwing steals. <coughs> yeah, whatever price. We won't even. I think it was like two hundred eighty or like two hundred forty. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, we were like throwing steals here and there. We were like, ah, fuck it. this pair will still be here. Mm. US nine. If every, anybody wants it, it's really very good condition. VNDS mm. at price at three to one. Only. So, um, come by and then just buy. Shop shop with us for mm. one last time. Let us give you one last deal. Mm. So we we'll come to the third segment of the show, which is the topic of the day. So for this topic of the day, we're actually going to talk about since we are closing, we're going to talk about um, our favorite, you know, memories about this place over the last one and a half years, what we've learned, how we've grown, etc. So we first came into the scene in 2019 May. May. So it was a very hasty setup. Basically, we. We didn't have any idea of what we were doing back then. We will show you some videos and photos as well. It's a very, it's a very. This place is a very small space, like very bare. So we started off selling like just not a lot of stuff, lah. Basically, yeah. yeah our back enough stuff, lah. Enough mm, stuff. Our back seller back then used to be what, ah? 
best ever, is it? Yeah, but one of the one of the things people buy last time. Uh, babe, babe. babe yeah. Last time, a lot, a lot of babe. Of people babe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We start out pretty much from like just basic vintage, and then uh, like just like some common basic uh, streetwear like babe, uh, yeah. off white. Those kind of common ones. And right now we have expanded to really a lot of brands and. For you guys who have came before, you all know what they what they what they are lah. Yeah, over over the last one and a half years, we have made a lot of good friends. Mm. We've seen customers come and go. We've made uh, friends with a few regulars, mm. and yeah, hope that you will continue being friends with us when we have no more shop. <laughs> 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 Favorite memory for me was really got ups and downs lah. I must say, uh, it was a very rough start. One of my favorite memories, I think, would be the first. Uh, vintage pop up event that we did, we called it what was it called? Uh? Uh, Conformity Collapse CC Volume C- 1. CC Volume 1, yeah. yeah. It, it was a very nice thing to see that pe- there were a lot of people here la, ar- around the vicinity of this area as well. Uh, really big crowds gathering, and then you know, we teamed up with a few vendors, and then we had just had a good time. La. So that was one of my favorite memories. Mm, some of my favorite memories would include I think when we first started out, right, we know how to price some stuff. <laughs> but sometimes we let we leave some items unpriced. Yeah. So when people actually come in and ask, uh, bro, how much is this? And then I'll be like, uh, brand, 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 brand. How much is this? How much is this? I'll keep texting him. Yeah. I don't know how much some, he, yeah. he intends to price. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so some, sometimes brands and <laughs> sometimes he, he underprices. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he, people walk away with a uh, steal la, but it's good, la, it's good la. I think my favorite memory of this place will, will probably be the interaction with customers la, Like what Brian said. Uh, because a lot of times when uh, customers come in, there's probably like there are mostly these two type of customers. One is either you are a streetwear or sneaker enthusiast, or you're trying to get into streetwear and sneakers. That's why uh, interacting with the, these two type of customers is very cool, uh, Because uh, for someone get, uh, just trying to get into the scene, you you know you get to introduce them some new stuff. You get to share your experience and knowledge with them. And for customers who are more experienced and in the scene, you get to talk about. Like our interests lah, which is sneakers yeah. and streetwear, and just uh, get their opinions. Vintage or so, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, get their opinions on certain stuff. You know, like wow, bro, the new release. Then we can talk about it. Yeah, so yeah. this like small interaction, uh, interaction with customers are probably like my favorite memories. Actually, yeah, uh, I totally agree with you. Especially mm. like when they come in and then they say hi. I'm I'm actually looking to get something for myself. As I'm new into this seat. Yeah, what, yeah. what should I get? Mm. And then we're actually there to go and help you guys like pick out, see out some clothes, yeah, some sneakers right. to match yeah, your, yeah, your yeah, new. Yeah. Style, mm. and so like uh, especially when some people they just come in and say I want to get a gift for oh, like, my yeah, girlfriend also. and stuff, and I don't know their size, but the moment you show uh, you show us uh, her or his picture, I know his or picture. you tell us his or her height and weight, we exa- we know exactly what size to get for yeah. her already. Yeah. ADLV size one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess yeah, I guess it's very fulfilling uh, Like what we do, mm. you know, we're actually assisting you out. Uh, I think it's very comforting also when you actually recommend. A customer something oh, and, and he actually, he actually agrees advice. with yeah, you correct, he says correct, that hey huh? this is very good thank you very much yes so then, that, that is like the most fulfilling thing mm. obviously we, we, we pay rent and we also need to earn some money mm. but i think that is secondary for us pretty much secondary for us mm. uh but, yeah Community. we we really really enjoy the interaction that is mm. that's what we need but too bad we are gonna close so <laughs> <laughs> uh what have been some bad memories uh obviously we have had some tough times as well uh, because we are located in this secluded area of the outskirts of the town <coughs> so there be, while we were building our brand the there were days even weekends i remember where there were zero walk-ins uh really that's very heartbreaking uh, to come to a store looking forward to a day of sales interacting customers and then on a weekend you have zero people walking in so that is Quite sad, but that's part and parcel as you grow. Uh, for 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 us, right? I think for me and Brand, mm. one thing is also like because we, we we have a lot of things in our store. We have a like a very wide variety of items and everything. Mm. Sometimes people just come inside, look one around, like like ten seconds, fifty seconds, then they just leave. Then it's like they are like people that really dress up quite well, so they we know that they come here for us. But then they just come inside, and they just like and just stop, like yeah, like yeah, like. Yeah. Like what? The <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't want to take a look properly yeah, first? So many things, eh? You know, this place is, 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 is too dense already. So, okay, not shading your but Some customers are, as in to me lah. Some customers are rude customers. So for the example, sometimes we have a fitting room here. So sometimes I'll be like, hey guys, if I see you flipping through the clothes, I will offer and be like, hey, we have a fitting room here. You want to try any of the clothes? Oh yeah, yeah. Some right. customers actually very nice. Say, oh, thank you. Uh, I will look through first or something like, that. like they at, at least respond. But for some. I'm pretty sure you can hear me, but they just continue flipping and just like don't respond to you. I think oh, those are yeah, a yeah. bit like 
the bad memories like. Yeah, I think almost all of us have many disheartening memories yes, like, like, yes, like, like People are very rude to us and stuff. They, they demand a lot of things, and we actually bring everything out, all the sizes, uh, designs, clothes for them to try. But they still, they don't really respond to us nicely, lah. Yeah, I guess. So hey, 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 we cannot say so much, really. We <laughs> 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 were like cheating. <laughs> But over over a very good experience yeah, la. Yeah, yeah. I mean working in the retail industry, to be honest with you, there are always pluses and minuses. Yes, yes, yes. As with any other industry, they always say customer is always correct. La. So mm. we always do our best to try to tend to your needs. Correct. Hey, I never put parking! <laughs> Yeah, one thing I hate about this place is so ah, uh, king traffic the king <laughs> LTA LTA always come here and tell <laughs> by what lah? Fifty me only I can't summon. So we come to end another, not another, but probably the last episode of Sneak Peek. We like to thank you guys for joining us over the last one and a half years. It's been good, but um, it's time for us to say goodbye. Everything has come to an end. So bye. Thank you guys. I just joined it. It's not fair. Okay, just kidding, guys. Bye.